Five well-known West 8th Street businesses have been purchased by Mill Creek Township for millions of dollars. Chelsea Swift joins us in the studio with the township's plans for those properties and how they hope to attract new businesses. Chelsea. Jen, right now the plan is to demolish the properties to encourage new development. It's part of the township's Presque Isle Gateway Project. Mill Creek Township is purchasing five properties along West 8th Street. The Mill Creek Township General Authority voting on this Monday night, the sale costing $7.17 million. Businesses include the former Bel Air Hotel, the former Joe Roots Grill, Sandbar Draft House and Grill, the Manor Hotel, and Grasshopper. The plan is to demolish the properties and encourage developers to come in and create new businesses. One Mill Creek Township supervisor explains their vision. We're looking at uh, commercial properties um, and as well as residential um, hotels, um, you know, uh, places to eat or, or, or drink, places to um, um, have fun. So really we're looking for a variety of, of, of um, opportunities for this. The owner of Colony Plaza says he believes new development will Will attract more visitors not only to the peninsula but to West 8th Street. I think that the 8th Street corridor plan in general is a great idea and I think it's going to generate excitement and interest in, in Mill Creek and I think tying the peninsula into shopping areas just makes a whole lot of sense. When visitors are, are leaving the peninsula they have no idea how lovely the colony is and, and some of the other shopping they have no idea because there's never been anything that really would attract them. Business owners at the Colony Plaza are hoping these improvements beautify the area for both visitors and residents. It really just takes um, a little effort to, to really make it uh, pleasing to the eye and attractive to people's eyes. They want to go there and that's what we're really hoping that the look of, of that development will be in keeping with trying to attract people. Part of this project was funded by the sale of the Mill Creek Water Authority. They also received funding from the Erie County Land Bank.